Well, man, it's comic book fans. Don't miss out on the newest comic books. Guys, I'm Mike Spider Slayer. Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. Today, I am showing you a list of comic books that is getting ready to come out in about three to four weeks from now. This list is powered by my LCS Comic Central, highlighting some of those big time books. So, guys, let's get started on this list. All right, comic book fans, so we're kicking it off with Marvel this time, and the first book we're going to be talking about is the big Marvel event of the year. This is Axe, Judgment Day, Issue 1, involving the Avengers, the Eternals, the X-Men, the battle between the Eternals and the X-Men, and the Avengers wedging between the two groups. Who will win? Who will lose? It'll be very interesting what happens to the X-Men after this event. I am actually looking forward to this because I'm hoping that eventually the Resurrection Protocols will end and the X-Men somehow get interesting again after this whole thing. So we'll see. You also get your fair share of variants on this book. Uh, I don't know what that one is. <laughs> and then you got this one here. And this one is actually a really nice one as well. Next, we get another new number one, Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings. So this is the newest Shang-Chi book, and I think this has a little bit more to do with if you saw the MCU movie, the rings are going to be more like that in this series. So I'm going to check this one out. Um, I guess it makes it more relevant to what I saw on the screen. I'm not too familiar as, with Shang-Chi as a whole, but if you have interest in this character or if you did like this movie this is definitely a book that i would say pick up here's a nice variant cover i'm assuming that's an art germ variant there really nice and there's another one here's another one with namor on there because we're celebrating the gala all right next we have the 25th issue of star wars this is a really nice cover here um as you get to see Darth Vader, Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan, you get to see the Grand Inquisitor, uh, Kylo Ren. Uh, you get to see all these cool characters on here. Uh, I'm curious to see what this book is about. I might check it out just because it's the 25th issue. Uh, I have not read Star Wars in quite a while. It was really good in the beginning, but as soon as it had to do with tying into all the other events in the star wars universe i dropped off of it it just wasn't interesting anymore so we'll see maybe if it goes on its own direction well that's kind of cool cover right there as you get a young anakin skywalker that's that's neat and then they've been doing these uh variant covers with uh say obi-wan and a lightsaber darth a uh, darth vader in the sky in the lightsaber and now you have luke skywalker in his green lightsaber which i always thought was his coolest lightsaber Here's one more issue right here. We got Darth Vader versus the Emperor. And then you got, uh, what is it, Poe Dameron. So you got that there. So there's quite a few of these Star Wars issue 25 books. All right, next we got Defenders Beyond issue one. So I don't know. I'm not a huge Defenders fan. I'm not sure if I'm on board with this team. Um... It's got America Chavez. It's got Loki on there. Is that supposed to be Tigra up there? It looks like it. Um, yeah, I don't know. This this Is that the dude from uh, the Beyonder from uh, Secret Wars 2? Is that who that is? Very interesting. That's kind of a cool cover. Maybe we'll check it out. Then you got an Alien Annual Issue 1. So for the fans that are looking into the Alien comic books, uh, if you like that, you got your annual coming out here that's a nice looking cover is that marine is just shooting down the aliens here's another one and then we got miles morales spider-man issue 40 um it says emperor salem's end game so we're still dealing with salem here and it looks like we have maybe miles uncle in this i don't know for sure but uh and then you got this Spider Smasher in there. Uh, I've said this before. When it comes to Miles Morales, I think the stories have decent ideas, but I think the execution is not always there. And I feel like this book lacks character 
growth, right? It doesn't make you feel about these characters. So I don't know. I just been so not into Miles Morales Spider-Man as much as I try to. That's a cool Predator cover. And here's your other variants here. Next, we have Moon Knight, Black, White, and Blood. This is issue three. So if you like all the Black, Black White, and Blood stuff, you're going to continue reading this. I read the first issue of it, uh, and that was it. They got some cool covers, though, man. And so if you collect comic books because of just covers, and a lot of people do, and that's okay. That's what's so great about this hobby is you can collect comics for reading. You can collect comics for specking and selling. You can collect comics just for cover buying. That's what's so awesome about this hobby. All right, next you got Spider-Gwen, Gwenverse, issue four. This time on the cover, you got Spider-Gwen and you got Iron Spider-Gwen. Or, yeah, Iron Gwen. I guess we'll go with that one. Cool cover. And I love some of the covers with the different, you know, Gwen Stacy's on there. Uh, but the overall story has just been lackluster for me. I like this Greg Land variant. That's pretty cool. All right, next we're going to go on to She-Hulk. This is issue five. I've been loving this story. I love Jennifer Walters. Um, great book. I definitely recommend it. It has to do a lot right now with Jack of Hearts coming back into the you know picture when it comes to the Marvel uh, comic universe. And she's trying to find out what happened to him because he went through a, a very dramatic event. And the best thing about this book is Jennifer Walters as she is actually interacting with uh, the society and people are just not used to seeing her around. And I think that's really cool. All right, next we got the new Fantastic Four issue two. The new Fantastic Four issue one just dropped this week. So I am uh, have not read it yet, and I'm looking forward to reading it. But I love this concept of this, you know, temporary team consisting of Spider-Man, Wolverine, Gray Hulk, and Ghost Rider. All right, next we move on to the Indies, and this one sounds pretty cool, uh, especially for me. I live in Florida, and this is called Florida Man Issue One. Uh, it's a story about this guy I don't know that's, that lives in Florida that hunts animals and stuff pretty long description love this cover as it you know pays homage to the copper tone girl who gets her bathing suit torn off by a dog so here you got one with a older female with uh with an alligator tearing off her her bikini bottom there <laughs> so and then you got this cover right here so i'm gonna check this one out and see what, what it's about next we move on to something is killing the children this is issue 25 now something is killing the children has been a solid book however for me i feel like this new story arc is a little bit of a slow burn we haven't seen any real character growth with erica slaughter she's gone against the house right and the house the a new house called the house of cutters after her to take her out because she's done things wrong so um and now they're after her and then erica's actually exploring this other monster that killed somebody so she's kind of off on her own she's a rebel at this point but again the story is very slow burn at the moment and we're gonna see where this goes i think it's a pivotal time for the comic book all right next you got death range i think that's what's called death range issue one Discover the secret origin of the Spartan World Order resident bad boy in his own series. The black sheep of the Mercs, Death Range, has sent social media buzzing with his antics at the Merc Gala. Now witness his heroic beginnings in the tragic betrayal and his rise to superhero celebrity fame and fortune and learn why the other Spartans hate him so much. The roller coaster begins here. Very interesting. It like looks like Deadpool, right? I mean, honestly, except maybe a much darker Deadpool. But the covers look badass. I mean, I'm definitely going to check that book out. And then we have 7174% issue one. Uh, following the artistic showcase, that was 7174 annual one. Ashley Wood is back with comic size 48 pager that showcases his ongoing and continuously evolving love affair with art styles that captivate to titillate <laughs> and motivate you to keep coming back for more okay that's pretty cool 
And then we have Impact Winter Issue 1. This is a one-shot type of style. It's been one year since a comet hit Earth and bottled out the sun. Now the world is a dark, cold landscape ruled by vampires in the British countryside. A band of survivors has formed a resistance in the fallout shelter of a medieval castle. That sounds fun to me. I'll check out, you know, end of the world books anytime. Grim Issue 3. We got Jessica Harrow in here, this character right here, who has been suspended because she lost the possession of her scythe. She can go in between, you know, real world and death world, I guess. Uh, this is a pretty cool looking book. We got this big death creature coming into play. I like this book, man. It's pretty cool. And then you got this guy here. It reminds me of... Um, David Bowie from Labyrinth, so that's pretty awesome. And then you got this nice little variant here. Uh, really good book, man. All right, and now we have Artist Elite Presents issue one. Uh, another homage cover here to X Men, so that's pretty cool. And you get multiple covers here, which all look pretty cool. You got this co cover there, that's pretty gorgeous. I love her gun right there, it's awesome. That sniper rifle. And you have Overwatch New Blood Issue 1. This one's done by Dark Horse. Here's your variant for that. AOD versus Reanimator Necro Macon Rising. Man, that's a that's a mouthful right there. So it's Army of Darkness. That's pretty cool. So if you love Army of Darkness, <laughs> check out that cover, dude. That is awesome. Uh, this, that's going to be a lot of fun. She Bites, issue one. This is from Scout Comics. Flavor Girls, issue one. Done by Arcania. Above Snakes, issue one. A lot of great indie comics out there, guys. Go ahead and check out something different if you're tired of the old superhero game. Comic fans, just to give you a heads up, there are no DC comics listed on this particular FOC. So that's it, guys. Now the ball's in your court. Make sure you get in touch with your local comic book shop on which comic books you want to add to your pool. And of course, guys, if you love my content, I'll leave you more content right here. In fact, this is my After the Pool series where I rank some of my most highly anticipated comic books. And guys, as always, keep buying, keep collecting, but most importantly, always read your comics. Guys, have a wonderful weekend.